So what we see here in the days of the judges, it kind of reminds me of uh, the series of movies called The Purge. If you've not watched it, don't watch it. I'm not endorsing it. Uh, but The Purge is this storyline. Every year for 12 hours, there are no laws enforced and there are no emergency services available. Yeah. To quote judges, everyone gets to do what's right in their own eyes. You can go murder someone, rob someone, assault someone, uh, harm someone, and for 12 hours, it's complete lawlessness. And if you don't believe that human beings are evil, just remove law and wait a while. Things don't get better, they get worse. This is where the myth of progressivism is a lie. The myth of progressivism is we're good people, give us less laws and more time, we'll get better. No, no, the Bible says it got worse and worse as everyone did what was evil in their own eyes. And then it reaches the point where here's a guy, Gideon, you're gonna see him in a moment, he's literally hiding for his life just trying to survive because they've decided that the purge is not a movie, it's a lifestyle. Some American cities are already well on their way. And what we see in Judges over the course of this 300 years is what the scholars will call the Judges cycle and we see it in our own nation because the Bible doesn't just tell us what happened but what always happens. So here's the Judges cycle. Number one, God's people do evil and syncretize with demonic counterfeits. We just looked at that in the life of Gideon. Two, God becomes angry and hands them over to an enemy. We just saw that in Judges 6. God's people cry to him for help. We just saw that as well. God raises up judges who deliver them from their enemy. That'll be Gideon as one example. But then over time, God's people return back to demonic apostasy. So here we now come to this conclusion that I really wanna share with you. Once God sets you free, you have to decide whether you will live free. Just because God set you free doesn't mean you live free. You need to decide to live free. Here in Judges 6, God told them, you were slaves in Egypt and I delivered you and set you free. And I gave you the promised land, a brand new home. And now you've decided that you're gonna live as a slave. Some of you, God has set you free. He's forgiven your sin through Jesus Christ. He's delivered you from generational curses. He has healed you from addictions. He has opened your eyes to the truth. And some of you are going back to choose a life of slavery. We live in a nation that is founded on the pursuit of life and liberty. And we have a lot of people who are destroying their life because they are forsaking their liberty. And so the point is this, it's not just being set free, but living free if you wanna enjoy the life that God has for you. Hey, howdy, Pastor Mark here. Thanks for viewing the clip. And if you'd like the entire sermon, we've got it ready to go. 